I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. At Thursday's Senate Armed Services Committee hearing, Senator Josh Hawley took Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm to task over record high fuel prices. In a tense exchange, Hawley denied Biden administration explanations for high gas prices and blamed administration policy. Granholm objected, which led to a clash between the two. Let's watch. Very good. Um, Secretary Granholm, Today in the state of Missouri, the average price of gasoline t today, as of this morning, is $4.10. Average price of diesel is $5.18. And I'm sure you've seen the reporting this morning that now AAA is projecting that gas prices will hit a national average, average of $6 a gallon by the month of August. Is this acceptable to you? No, it is not. And you can thank the activity of Vladimir Putin for invading Ukraine and pulling essentially oh, nonsense. those barrels. Uh, with all due respect, Madam Secretary, that's utter nonsense. In January of 2021, the average gas price in my state was $2.07. Eight months later, eight months later, long before Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine, that price was up over 30 percent, and it has been going up consistently since. What are you doing to reverse this administration's policies that are drawing down our own supply of energy in this country, that are throttling oil and gas production in the United States of America. What are you doing about With it? With respect, sir, it is not administration policies that have affected supply and demand. How can you say that when the price of gas was up over 30 percent from January to uh, you answer my questions? Answer. And it's my time, Madam Secretary. So why don't you answer my question? From January to August, the price of gasoline was up over 30 percent. In my state alone, it has been a continuous, a continuous upward tick since then. And here's what your president did when he first came to office. He immediately re-entered the Paris Climate Accord. He canceled the Keystone Pipeline. He halted leasing programs in Anwar. He issued a 60-day halt on all new oil and gas leases and drilling permits on federal lands and waters. That's nationwide. That accounts, by the way, for 25 percent of U.S. oil production. He directed federal agencies to eliminate all supports for fossil fuels. He imposed new regulations on oil and gas and methane emissions. Those were all just in the first few days. Are you telling me that's had no effect I'm on our energy you that supply? 94 percent of the oil and gas executives that were surveyed by the Dallas Fed said that administration policies had nothing to do with the increase in the price of oil. I'm not interested the in the opinions of, of these people. I'm interested Those in the, are the facts. Are, are you telling me the that these policies had no effect? Is I'm that your you testimony, no that these policies had no effect? You? Are you telling you, me, sir. Madam Secretary, are you telling me under oath that these policies had no effect. I'm telling you that 94% of the oil and gas industry. I'm not interested in their opinion. I'm interested in no the effect. facts. So, no, they did not ask. That is Vladimir a remarkable Putin statement. About the increase in demand and the decrease in supply from pulling Russian barrels of oil off the market, thanks to rightly the United States saying we're not going to take Russian oil. Coming out of COVID. So, what explains the of, increase between I'm, January and August coming of 2021? Out of COVID, coming out of COVID, there was an increase in demand because people were driving again. When there was no demand, the prices dropped. That is a basic law of economics. The prices dropped. I have to say, Madam in Secretary, with all due respect, your answers are insulting. And they are insulting to the people of Missouri who are looking for action. Now, you said two months ago your department was on war footing. What are you doing to bring down the price of gasoline? which has been going up gasoline. consistently since you took office. The price of gasoline is derived from the price of oil. The price of oil is at $110 a barrel. What are you doing to decrease it? On is a my global question. market, sir, if you could let me finish. If you would Just, answer my question. I am answering your question, sir. Oil is traded on a global market. We are paying extremely high prices today just as they are in Japan. What are you doing to just get it as down? They are in Germany, just as they are in South What are you Africa doing to get it down? It we are calling for an increase in supply. We are releasing a million barrels a day from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve to try to balance out. Who are you getting it calling for an increase in supply from? It is supply the largest from? tool that we have to be able to do that. Who are you calling for an increase in supply also from? Excuse Secretary, me. Secretary, please. Uh, Senator Hawley, your time's expired. Could I get an answer to this question, uh, Mr. Chairman? Uh, Who Senator, are you calling for an increase in supply from? From our domestic oil and gas manufacturers, from international oil and Even gas manufacturers. Even as you cancel their leases? Senator Hawley, if you want to answer, you have to allow the secretary to answer.
I've said we have called repeatedly for increases in supply from domestic oil and gas manufacturers, from international oil and gas manufacturers. We want to increase supply, and that is why the President released an unprecedented amount from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, and our international allies also released from their reserves to try to balance out supply and demand while the oil and gas companies increase supply, and the international, excuse me, the Energy Information Administration has projected that they will have increased in the United States about a million barrels a day by the end of this year. Thank you very much.